welcome to another week of M3 Creative Academy's Christmas Music Workshop. We're so glad that you're here. Today, I'm here to teach you how to play O Come All Ye Faithful on the guitar. This is the just the regular version with regular chords, all in the key of G. So how do you tell if it's in the key of G? Well, it has a G as the first chord. So you ready to go? Let's go. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get used to our chords. There are actually several chords to this one. They do come kind of fast. That's the unfortunate things about um, some of the Christmas songs is that there's a lot of chords and they happen really fast uh, with changes. So we want to get used to that. So the first one we want is just a G chord. So you probably know that one. It's probably one of the first chords you ever learned. <laughs> the next one is an A minor. Okay. Then we have another G. And those are all should be pretty normal. Now, one thing I did include on I did include on our lead sheet was the chord symbol. So you can always follow that on this one. The next one is what we call a D sus. And so all I do on this one, I play a D chord. And by the way, if, if it's too hard for you to get the D sus in there, just play a D. Forget the other letters after it, okay? Uh, so what I do is I play a D chord, and then I let my fourth finger play the E in the third fret there. And then you notice how it goes to the D next? Yeah, that's going to be pretty common. So D sus, D, and then these chords go pretty fast, don't they? So then I have E minor, D. Here I have an A natural, or A major. Then D, D sus, G, then G. I want to give you a little hint when you're playing these uh, these chords because those those are a lot of chords really fast. Some of them you just got to do like the E minor. There's no substitute for that one. E, say, oh come ye, oh come ye to Bethlehem. Right there on that on that G chord in that line. Uh, there's a quick little easy way to make it a G chord without trying to move all the way up here. Okay, uh, so you're on your D chord. You're actually on a D sus. Now, if you do this, leave these two fingers here. Let go of these ones, or even just the first one, really, and let that G sound as a G. That becomes a G chord. Okay, it's actually a pretty easy way of doing that. Uh, and then, because you're right back to your D chord. So you go D, D, sus, G, D, A, D. And after that, the song's pretty easy. Um, there's not too many more changes that happen with there. We have a G chord, a C chord, a D chord. Those are all shall be pretty comfortable for you to play in. We get one more A minor chord in there, but that's the only one that's a little bit uh, unique in this key. So anyways, uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to start practicing this one and see if you can do try a couple of things. Try to sing along with it and play. Uh, and then try to also do it where you're strumming with it too. This is a, there's a lot of chords in this one. It's hard to get a really steady strumming pattern going with it because we have to change so much. Uh, so I do recommend a couple of things. So as you're going, um, Well, when the chords are slower, also go a little slower. Notice how I just did some big quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Also, one thing I'm doing on that one, because I'm getting a couple little eighth notes in there, it just kind of drives the rhythm more uh, forward a little bit more. So I'm going one, two, three, and four. Okay. The other thing I'm doing with those eighth notes is I'm not like going all strings on them, okay? I'm just getting a couple of my middle strings here. The G chord. It gives it a little bit more subtlety. It also gives it a little bit better sound because I'm not driving forward everything. The big parts of the beat to always really strum on are beats uh, one and, f and three, or depending on the song, two and four. So you gotta make a decision on that one. For this song, I do one and three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. See how that works? All right, so get to practicing on this one. I think you're gonna do fine with it. Just learn the chords and see if you can play along with the song, okay? Have a great Christmas. Bye bye.